hello and welcome subscribers of AVG News. My name is Mkoli Sinube. Today uh, I'm not, or rather in this video, I'm not here to talk about uh, the exemption permits as such, but I'm here to talk to, talk to fellow Zimbabweans, uh, especially when we consider the material conditions in South Africa at the present moment. Uh, but before I go ahead, may I request you to subscribe to this channel, to like this video, and share it. Well, as most of you may already know, uh, the Zimbabwe exemption permit uh, has not been renewed, and it is the government's stance, uh, as per the indications by Minister Aaron Swaledi, that it is not going to be renewed, that the permits for those who don't qualify for any other permits, uh, there will be no uh, silver lining in as far as the minister's uh, statements are concerned. So what this means is that uh, the time is nigh for us to start focusing on life back in Zimbabwe, to start focusing on what it is that we can fall back on when we get back home. I know there are some who are saying, hey, we are not going anywhere, blah, 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 a number of things that they are saying and there are others who have already been living here without permits. But uh, it seems increasingly likely that mass deportations are going to uh, return. We have seen the glimpses of that already with especially home affairs officials and police uh, moving around almost every Thursday and Friday at the city center uh, in areas like Hill, Proyovel, arresting people uh, at any given time without even giving any warnings and that means that we are going to slide back to the uh, atmosphere or environment of the last few years before the introduction of these uh, exemption permits or these special permits for Zimbabweans uh, it's highly likely that the arrests are going to come back the deportations are going to come back but also detentions are going to come back uh, so it is for every uh, wise person, advisable for you to start uh, focusing on life back home. We need to start uh, rebuilding our country, Zimbabwe, and make sure that uh, we rebuild its economy as well. This is the time for us to start participating uh, in the happenings back home, be they political, be they social, be they economical, because at the end of the day, that is the only country we can say we have an entitlement to because by birth or by any other means or naturalization, we are Zimbabweans and we will remain Zimbabweans for as long as we do not uh, put that uh, in our minds, for as long as we do not put in a shift in trying to make sure that Zimbabwe is rebuilt, we are going to continue suffering. Uh, the, st uh, the, the statistics that we are getting from government back home is that more than 900,000 Zimbabweans are out of their country. And that's a very huge number, considering that there are some countries like Botswana which have around 2 point something million uh, citizens all in all. So this means that uh, our migration crisis has grown to unprecedented levels, especially for an African country not at war. So we need to start uh, focusing on what it is that we can do, maybe as cooperatives or as individuals or as political parties uh, to make sure that we do not leave this legacy of running away from our country uh, to the future generations. And we can only uh, assure them of that if we do not continue to breed stateless uh, children outside our country, if we do not continue to bring our children outside our country in uh, undocumented fashion, because what it means is that they will remain stateless even long when we are gone, and they will have no uh, basis by which they can claim citizenship in any country. So this, therefore, calls for deep self-introspection among us. This is time we put aside uh, the tribalism that has divided us for a very long time to start focusing on rebuilding our country. You don't have to belong to any particular party. You do not have to stand in opposition to any particular party. 
but you just need to be a Zimbabwean who loves their country, who wishes to see the best uh, come out of Zimbabwe. And what we can do then outside this, uh, outside our country, uh, in neighboring countries, is to seek uh, advocacy. It's to seek solidarity in as much as we may we may want to bring back our country. So for those who may continue to live in other countries, uh, we need then to make sure that we do not relax but we also uh, put effort in making sure that residents or citizens of those countries join in the struggle for Zimbabwe as was done during the frontline states days because we cannot do it on our own, we cannot do it alone, but we can only do it in, with that solidarity if we take uh, the, the lead as Zimbabweans. Countries like South Africa, citizens of countries like South Africa have pledged their support for us. They've said that for as long as you show that you are indeed uh, willing to work for Zimbabwe, for as long as you show that you are willing to fight for Zimbabwe, we are there behind you uh, because we also want to see Zimbabwe getting back to its, uh, to its best level. It doesn't have to be contra confrontation, but it can even be dialogue with those that are in charge of our country, with dialogue with political parties that seek to govern our country. And it doesn't have to be these big political parties only. It has to be everybody, every Zimbabweans. We have the civil society. We have church organizations. The time is now is nigh for us to sit down and then begin to chart the way forward for our country. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it and be free uh, to participate uh, in dialogues in this, uh, on this channel by using the comment section underneath every uh, video that we post so that we can engage on that. Thank you very much.